Hi guys, so today I thought, seeing as we're all stuck inside, I thought I would film things that I've been buying before obviously we've all been put on lockdown. Um, and I also made my first purchase on Dolls Kill and I wanted to do a review on it just so you guys can know whether it's worth buying from their website or not because obviously they can be quite expensive and once you add the shipping and any duties charges you get it can really start to add up so I thought I would show you the tea and um, yeah show you what I got I'm going to start with some things I've got on Depop recently so I picked up this I don't think it's got any labeling yeah so I know that this is a brand in Manchester um, I had a shop of this in Manchester but I picked this up it's like a reworked shirt or something that's been made into a bandeau top and it's a really cute pink and green florally pattern but I'm gonna wait for it to get a bit warmer before I wear this I thought this was really cute really like that and then from the same seller I also got this little vest top it's like raised there. I don't know what pattern you'd call this, but um, I'm not gonna lie. It's <laughs> really itchy inside as well. So I have to wear a little top underneath it so that my whole body isn't itching all over because it's really itchy, but it's really cute. And I've worn it on a night out and I loved it. Then I hit up a few of the charity shops in town. I find that the charity shops where I live can be really hit and miss um sometimes i find some good stuff sometimes i find absolutely nothing one of the things i found is currently in the wash um so i can't show you that but i basically found a little like it was a boys t-shirt um like a polo ralph Lauren white one it's got a bit of a high neck short sleeved and it comes up slightly cropped on me um a bit like a baby tee almost um just with the black logo um, I think that was like three pounds, so I had to get that. I also picked up this little like vest top, which is purple with stripes on it. And I just kind of tucked this in a little bit because it's a bit long on me and make it into a crop top. And I thought this would be really cute in the summer with a pair of shorts or jeans. Um, something very similar as well that I got is this one. It's like greeny khaki color. With some buttons going down the front thought this one cropped and tied up would be really nice as well and obviously like the cardigan style is really in at the moment so i thought this was a good one to grab and the last thing i got in a charity shop was this little oh it's like a nighty type slip dress in this beautiful it kind of being washed out a little bit on camera but it's a beautiful like light pink with purple flowers on it and the little bow here and it was brand new in the charity shop um which is nice to know that it hasn't been worn yet um but i absolutely love this with a little white t-shirt underneath or just as it is with some docks or something i think it'd be really cute so before i go on to the dolls kill stuff um i bought a few bits of makeup one of the things i got was i got this lip lip limp lip plumper from nyx and I've never had a lip plumper before so I really wanted to try one and I've got it on now and my lips are still tingling and I probably put it on like six, seven minutes ago. Um, I don't know if my lips look any bigger. Maybe they do. I can't tell to be honest. But it's a bit of fun isn't it so I thought I'd pick that up. Also from NYX got this blush. Um, I really love blush. I think you know all the TikTok e-girls wearing all the blush and everything but I've been into the blush into the blush into blush for quite a while um ooh, I can't open it I just thought this was a really cute colour um to put everywhere and it's a matte one a lot of my blushes have a bit of shimmer in so sometimes I like having a matte one even though I'll probably put a bit of the shimmery one on top of it but it's always nice and I don't have one that's this kind of corally colour. And then lastly for the makeup, I got the Precisely My Brow brow Pencil from Benefit um, in shade 3. Because I've been doing my brows a bit 
lighter for a while now and I always run out of a pencil but never buy it again so I thought why not I normally get like a cheap one but I thought I want to try the benefit one so I've heard only good things about this so hopefully it's as good as people say it is now on to what I got at Dolls Kill um so I bought some stuff off their sale and wasn't too expensive I think it ended up coming to about 42 pounds because I then had to pay customs um which I didn't think was too bad considering a lot of their stuff can be really expensive but I got a top a dress and two bottoms but the first thing I got was this fluffy cropped bandeau top with a little fluff on the top and um it's not all joined all around which I kind of thought it would have been um but it's quite structured uh, especially around like the booby area um so it is quite good quality there are feathers everywhere um but i think i know they sell something like this on shein um and i feel like it honestly might be the same quality but i think the shein one might feel a bit more like it's probably going to fall apart on you whereas this one feels like it might last me a while hopefully i then got this gorgeous dress it's like a little mini dress bodycon with the holes it doesn't have any under boob i'm not a fan of any under boob um it covers you completely but just has the nice bit of skin there with a little ring there as well um and i just think this is some really nice detail and it's really flattering on as well um see so yeah, i really like this this is really good quality as well not see-through or anything really stretchy um yeah i really love this then got this skirt which i think is so cool and it's the zip works all the way down if you need it to i don't know who would need it to zip all the way down but it does that so that's useful um these pockets here are all fake you can't actually get into them or anything um but i think the detail of all the zips is so cool and the white contrast stitching and it's a really sturdy denim material as well um it's got like a little ring on the back so you can have your chain or whatever that you want but yeah no, i really liked i really like this one i just kind of wish it had belt loops because i like my skirts to have belt loops just in case well i'm always losing weight and putting on weight and losing it so i like to be able to not have to buy loads of different size skirts um i can just have one and then wear about if i need to and then lastly from dolls kill you've already slightly seen these um but i got these trousers these are from delilah's so was the purple fluffy top and they're really wide legged Ooh, can't get them up that high they're this gorgeous blue color that shifts blue in the light i don't know if you can tell um and then it's also got contrast denim on the top Ooh. and on the back pockets as well and they come down quite long and because they're, they're quite wide and straight they really make your legs look longer so they make you look taller and i've been absolutely loving these since i got them they're the main thing i've worn because i've tried to save everything but i have worn these loads already absolutely love them i just love the silhouette it gives your body with the straight like straight long legs and i paired it with like an oversized jumper and tucked it in at the front and i've absolutely loved it and then lastly what i got i didn't get this on dolls kill or anything i got these in office in town because they were on sale and i've been looking at these for ages and ages and i feel like the only time i buy doc martens like last time i bought doc martens um was in the boxing day sales because I'm always looking to buy them second hand, but I think if you can spend £100 on second hand worn docks, you might as well spend £100 on brand new ones. And so I got the white Chelsea ones, which have a really chunky sole. And I love these so much. Love the style of them. Um, I love how they fit. I got mine in a five. I probably could have got a four, to be honest but I like to wear thick socks with these like 
thick van socks so you have to excuse i've got a hole in those socks but i like to wear that kind of sock in my docks anyway just so that they don't rub but at the moment i found these haven't rubbed my other docks haven't rubbed me at all either and i wear them to work so they do get worn a lot but i absolutely love these and these paired with these jeans is such a good outfit i i wore it yesterday and i absolutely loved it and i got some compliments off it as well so that is everything I have bought recently before everything started happening. Obviously, I'm not really, the only time I'm going out is to go to work because I still have to work. Um, so other than that, I'm pretty much doing nothing now. And it's very tempting to online shop, but I've been holding back. Um, but that's everything I bought before everything started. I still have a few things coming in the post, but I feel like it's gonna take a while now. So, and I didn't wanna wait a few more weeks to film this video so i hope you enjoyed and i am probably going to do a video soon of me styling some of the bits i've got um so if you want to see that give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon